Hello guys, here we are again with a new squad builder. This time we're gonna do a Bosnia Herzegovina team. Okay, so in goal we'll start off with Bergokic, I think that's his name. Begovic. He's the best goalkeeper I had so far. His stats may not say so, but he's just amazing. He's the best goalkeeper I had so far, and I re highly recommend him, even if you're doing a Barclays team. He's one of the best, personally. Okay, so now let's move on to the defenders. Okay, in defense we'll have Spahic, if I said his name right, Spahic. He's 53 pace, not the fastest defender, but he's big, he's got 79 heading, 75 defending, and he's really concrete all over the area. He also wins headers, and he scores multiple goals from corners. Okay, so now let's move on to the next player. Okay, the defender beside him will be Banza, if I said that name right. He's got 65 pace, 77 heading, and he's really good partner up with with Spahic. They just they play well together, that's all I can really say. And again, he's a really good concrete defender. There's better out there, but he's the best you can get if you're doing a Bosnia team. Okay, the left back will be... Will be... Spahic, another Spahic, but he's... Left backs, there's like a lack of players. And Spahic is probably the best. He's got 73 pace, which is good. 64 dribbling, 66 defending, and he's... And he, actually helps a lot in attack too. He's an attacking left back. He's a bit like Johnson of Liverpool. Okay, so to the right we'll have we'll have Muja, if I said that name right. If anyone is from Bosnia, please don't kill me. I really have no clue you say these names. Okay, he he's pretty good. He's not as offensive as Spahic, the the left back. Uh, but he's really good he's the best you can get in that role there was also a bronze right back but he's personally better he's better at defending okay so now let's move on to the cent center midfielder in the center of the midfield we'll have Mira Lempjanic of Roma he's really really good he's also offensive but the left mid def help helps a lot in defense and so do the two COCs Strangely, he's really good. He's the only four-star trickster in the team, and he's 83 dribbling, 80 passing. He can also play COC, but he's better as a center midfielder. Personally, he's really good. He also switch switch places a lot with that with the COC there, that Salihovic, and he's really really good. Okay, so the twos. Uh, okay, the right mid will be. Whoops, I forgot there are no right mids. Let's go to left mid. The left mid will be Diaban. I'm pretty sure I said his name right. He's there's a lot there are no right midfielders, right wingers, anything from Bosnia, so I had to use a left mid in that position. And he's Diabang, he's got eighty two pace, he's not the best. I personally don't like him a lot, but he he fills up the role, and that's all that matters right now. Okay, so on the left mid, he's there's one of my favorite players of the team. Although he plays for Lazio, that's the only downside. He's Lulic. He's he, he could also play as a left back. He's really really good. 85 pace, 81 dribbling, 80 passing. He's he helps. He's like Maggio. He attacks a lot. He defends a lot. You find him anywhere on the pitch. And he's pretty good with his feet. He's not too bad, as you see. There's 81 dribbling. That's good. And 80 passing, that's even better. Okay, so now let's move on to the two COCs. So, the right COC will be Smisimovic of Dinamo Moscow, if that's the team. I'm pretty sure it is. He's really, really good. He's got 80 passing, 79 dribbling, 76 shooting. He's not the fastest player, but you don't need a fast COC. Personally, at least I don't want one. He's only three star tricks, so that's maybe the biggest downside. If he were four, that would be re so much better, as there's only one four star trickster, and that's kind of disappointing. He's he's really good. He's also offensive. He scores many goals, 
for a CLC. He scored in 17 games, he scored 7 goals, which is really good for me. Okay, so now let's move on to the other CLC. He's probably got this CLC has the best free kicks in game ever. He, it's all 96. He's got a beast of a shot, 81 shooting. That's just incredible. If you manage to get a nice shot with him, it almost always goes in. It's a guarantee. He's got even 83 passing, 81 shooting, which is, again, really amazing. The only downside is he's got only 50 pace, but he doesn't need, really need to move a lot. He also defends quite quite a bit. Like, Pjanic and Salihovic, they change positions a lot. If Pjanic is an attack, you'll see Salihovic in defense for sure. You never see them both in attack at the same time. And... Salihovic is beast. He he was a must in this team. He's got maybe the best shot. The best. He's the best free kick taker of the game, and that's guaranteed. Okay, so now let's move on to the striker. As you all expect, it's Edin Zeko of Man City. It could be no other person. He scored so many goals. It's not funny anymore. He scored at least like one. Those are his stats. Seventy four games. Seventy nine goals. And that's just incredible. And if he was in a better team, he would score even more goals. That's for sure. I had him in FIFA 12, and I saw I had to try him in FIFA 13. And he's even better. He's got 72 pace, 82 shooting, which is incredible. And 81 dribbling, which is really good for a midfielder. I mean, for a striker. And he's just beast. Okay, so this is a Bosnian team. It's really good. The only thing, it, it doesn't have 100 chemistry, as there are no right mids. So, if he had some more chemistry, it would be perfect. But you could also change Zeko's place with... With Ibesevic, if I said that name right. And it would go, I think, higher in chemistry, as he would have a good link. Crap, wrong player. But he, he can take Pjanic's, Pjanic's place. When he's tired, he's not the best, but he's a good replacement. He's cheap, and that's all that really matters. You could have Ibesevic, which would increase chemistry if in, instead of Zeko. He's not the best at player, but he's good. And that's all that really matters when he's a striker. And he's really big, so... Okay, so this is it for the Bosnia team. Guys, please like and subscribe. And I want to thank everyone at the end of this vid for 20 subs. It's really incredible. And my next goal will be 50 subs. And me and Fira might do a, a giveaway soon. It might be Forza 4, it might be FIFA. See you guys next time. It's L30.